A moral ethicist said that access to health care is a moral obligation of a good society. As most developed nations know and recognize, health care is a human right and not a privilege dependent on one's ability to pay. I have long been a supporter of Medicare for All, and as a psychiatric social worker working in Maine's second largest hospital, see firsthand the need for universal, equitable medical coverage for all, not just the privileged few. Medicare for All was one reason I canvassed door to door for Jerry Golden as he co-sponsored H.R. 1384, the Medicare for All legislation during his first term. But since that time, he no longer supports coverage, health coverage for all. No, during a pandemic? I mean, come on. Although he may have turned his back on universal health coverage for his constituency, I will continue to fight for this. Now, the Build Back Better agenda of President Biden doesn't include a Medicare for All or universal coverage option, but it does include significant new investments in health care, child care, paid family leave, medical leave, as well as lowered prescription drug costs. For example, it would reduce the uninsured in this country by 7 million by 2022. It would provide lower health care costs and premiums for those buying coverage through the ACA by extending the American Rescue Plan's coverage savings. It would add dental, vision, and hearing coverage to Medicare and close the Medicaid gap for low-income Americans. It would expand access to long-term care services under Medicaid. Anybody who has an elder parent who has to go into a nursing home knows how important the Medicaid dollars are. It would lower prescription drug costs by letting Medicare negotiate drug prices so consumers are no longer at the whim of pharmaceutical companies. Remember under Bush couldn't uh, negotiate lower prices with pharmaceuticals. It would provide 12 months of postpartum coverage, not the 60 days coverage now. It would provide medical coverage of health care services for people within 30 days of leaving jail or prison, which is not done now. Now, our Congressman Golden has joined about eight other so-called centrist Democrats, also known as corporate Democrats, to vote against the budget reconciliation package that we're discussing today, of which the medical benefits have been identified, because it would raise taxes against the wealthiest, those making over 400000 a year. His priorities appear to be those of his mega donors and not the people of Maine. Another benefit of the Build Back Better proposal is it would extend the expanded child tax credit, which would benefit 92% of the children in Maine through the child tax credit while raising taxes on at most 3.3% of households in Golden's district. Although Golden is not supporting this plan right now, it should be noted that he recently voted to increase the annual military budget to an astronomical $778 billion, which is more than twice as much as what the $3.5 trillion Build Back Better Act would cost if spread out over 10 year, uh, per year basis. And polls have shown that Biden's Build Back Better proposals, as we see, I don't know where the sign is, is more popular than Golden is in his own district. Yay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Surveys have shown strong support across party lines because it will provide long-term investments in human infrastructure, health care, lowered prescription costs, lower child care costs and climate action, we need to let him hear our voices loud and clear over the din of the lobbyists and mega donors that we support Biden's Build Back Better. So get out there and talk to him, okay? He listens, he should be listening to us. Thank you.